The first people to investigate the human condition were philosophers, and they used contemplation, reason, argument and discussion to help them try and work out potential truths about how humans mind worked and how their emotions worked. But these ways were in no way scientific, and that is where Wundt comes in. In 1879, Wundt opened the first ever experimental psychology lab in Leipzig, Germany. And it was this, his work here, where he tried to make the investigation of the internal work of the mind much more objective and systematic that he earned the name and title Father of Psychology. Wundt's work is known as structuralism. This is because he and the people who worked with him, the participants in the experiments, were interested in breaking thought about an object down to its separate elements so they could work out the different parts of the mind and the mental processes in the way that those parts interacted. Wundt's main way of doing this was through the process of introspection, a technique he developed to be as objective as possible when looking at the mind, and which he trained his participants in. Wundt would get his highly trained participants in the process of introspection to focus on an everyday object, like this stimulus here. Whilst observing the stimulus, participants were asked to systematically report on their experience uh, by reflecting on the sensations, feelings and images that the stimulus provoked in them. So, they looked at the everyday object, they focused inward, they reflected on their sensations, feelings and images and reported them in a systematic way. A common item Wundt used as a stimulus material was a metronome. So, Wundt is hugely important in the development of psychology because in setting up his first psychological lab laboratory and promoting the use of introspection as a more objective way of studying mental processes in that, in that it was systematic analysis of one's own conscious experience of a stimulus such as a metronome, this meant that an experience was analysed in terms of its component parts, the elements that made it up, the sensation, the emotional reaction, the responses that they had, and that helped Wundt to build his view of structuralism and explain the processes of the mind. Not only was he important for that huge contribution in terms of understanding the internal processes, but his work paved the way for later controlled research and the studies of mental processes by a range of people, such as the cognitive psychologists who still work on that today, um, and introspection is coming back into style, uh, as well as the behaviourists who did reject his idea of internal working processes of the mind being something you could study. but who embraced his ideas that you needed tight controls in an experiment to be able to draw strong conclusions. So, while Wundt's work wasn't perfect, without it, we'd still be in the realms of philosophy. Blah, 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 blah.